रायपुर से जब नहीं लगता भी प्यार से लगता Hi Dia so glad to be talking to you thank you Kamya it's my pleasure you know uh, i know you get that a lot but your debut film rehna hai tere dil mein has been one of my favorites and it's been 19 years to that film how does it feel unbelievable i i still can't believe that it's been 19 years um, some days it feels like yesterday some days it feels like another lifetime i was 19 when i filmed that movie do you remember any any particular anecdote or stories from your filming or shooting days from the sets of rehna tere dil mein with madhavan or self lots of anecdotes but it's also very interesting how i landed the film um anupam khe called me and said you know there was there's an actress who was signed for a film called divana pan with arjun rampal and it's vashu ji's film they were filming in south africa and the actress has decided last minute not to do the film and they're in the their mid schedule and he's left in the lurch will you jump in and and do the job and i was like but i don't know the script i don't know anything and he was like they'll tell you everything it's a good film he's as you know a good producer just do it so i literally overnight jumped on a plane <laughs> <laughs> I got to Cape Town, South Africa. We filmed Divana Pan, and while I was filming Divana Pan, I got another like Vasuji came and met me on on the sets, and he said, "You know, I'm making another movie with the South superstar called Madhavan." I was like, "Madhavan, I know him." <laughs> <laughs> Kamya, there was one point. Imagine, I'm a girl from a non-film background, never yeah. obviously. any kind of exposure or understanding of how the film industry works i had just about started training to be an actor uh yes. when i was suddenly signed for three films and already shooting for two i had a great time with saif and madhavan i had like the most wonderful memories laughing a lot i would be laughing so much it would hurt especially saif he's got like the most wicked sense of humor and there be times when he say stuff and i feel like just say for a shot i'm like up with all my lines uh, yeah from having such a busy schedule to now a period of social distancing or lockdown how have you been spending time at home what's keeping you busy you know kamya it's such an interesting um question because this was the first time in 19 years that i got with my mother i don't think i've ever been home for such a long stretch of time in these 19 years that i've been a working artist you know that genuine time out to cook to breathe to read yeah. to just sit around with mom and laugh and chat and play scrabble and dictionary and and you know. absolutely which city are you in currently i know that you were born in hyderabad are you also now spending time in hyderabad or are you in mumbai i have been in mumbai through in fact i went to hyderabad just before the lockdown to shoot for this film with nagarjuna sir uh, yes. and uh, literally flew back in time just before the lockdown so if the lockdown had happened while i was in hyderabad i would have probably been in hyderabad for all this <laughs> Now you were born in Hyderabad, Dia, and you know while most people speak in Telugu, they do have a, a very distinct Hyderabadi accent. Do you know of that accent? Can you speak well in that accent? No, I can speak in Hyderabadi also. So when I'm with Tabu or someone like that, I switch into that uh, way of talk. मैं ऐसी बात करती हूँ Hyderabadi में. Tabu से या किसी से मिलती हूँ तो हम Hyderabadi में बात करते हैं. I produced this film called Bob Bobby Jasus. Okay. Uh, Balan in the lead, and Vidya had to speak in Hyderabadi, like Dakini Hindi, and we had so much fun. It was such a laugh. So I'm going to read out some Bollywood dialogues, and you got to say that in a Hyderabadi accent. Okay, oh. here you go. Thappar se dar nahi lagta sa, pyaar se lagta hai. Thappar se dar nahi lagta bhi, pyaar se lagta. You know that quite well. Okay. एक चुटकी सिंदूर की कीमत तुम क्या जानो रमेश बाबू एक चुटकी सिंदूर की कीमत तुम क्या जानते भाई रमेश बाबू ओके नाउ दिस वन फ्रॉम योर फिल्म तुम समझते क्या हो अपने आप को ये जो तुम जिस तरह से बात कर रहे हो यही तुम्हारा असली कैरेक्टर है तुम समझते क्या भाई अपने आप को <laughs> ये, ये जैसा बात कर रहे हैं तुम 
तुम्हारा यही कैरेक्टर है बाव यू गेट फुल मार्क्स ऑन दिस दिया वेरी गुड Well, other than the Hyderabadi accent, what Hyderabad is known for is its delicious food. So, do you have any favorites uh, from the Hyderabadi cuisine that you always talk about when you meet your friends from other cities or states? You know, um, I've of course become vegetarian now, but I obviously grew up in a Hyderabadi household, eating yeah. like the most delicious Mughlai and Hyderabadi cuisine, and learned. pretty much all of it so nihari haleem biryani i cook all of this and over the years my friends have um, enjoyed all of these dishes at home whenever i've entertained them so much so that by demand i'm asked to make haleem or nihari by many of them so do you do you cook often yeah i do i do and i also kind of grind all my own masalas and stuff because you don't those flavors don't come in ready made masalas yeah. I think the secret of those recipes really lies in the masalas and grinding them yourself. So, dear, yeah, when you moved to Mumbai, how was it living away from your parents? Um, you know, doing things all by yourself. Did you also indulge in some Mumbai or street food? How was your eating pattern when you just moved to Mumbai? And any special memories? Stories. So, when I when we first became Miss India's, Lara, Priyanka, and I. we in the back in that day they didn't put us up in a hotel we like we had to kind of figure out our accommodation our finances everything and we were like i was pretty hard up for money like i'd spent most of it buying what i needed to for the contest go for like these fancy parties so, you know wearing these glamorous gowns and makeup and hair and, <laughs> you know we gifted these expensive wines and all these presents and come back home and eat yy noodles fast <laughs> convenient and super cheap yeah uh, uh so my early memories of food in mumbai is why why then i remember lara taking me to swati snacks you know this uh, uh, in town yeah. yes 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 the khichdi over there oh my god there is no better <laughs> tasting khichdi in this world um, and then of course elko ka chaat you know the pani yeah. and the ragda patties and everything and then the chole bhature at um, my mouth is watering <laughs> <laughs> we are we are known to do that during the show to all the celebrities who join us <laughs> i remember for south indian and i'd always be eternally disappointed with the south indian i'd be like yeah it just doesn't taste like what it does in hyderabad yeah. so um but uh, living in mumbai uh of course there are so many aspects to it so the first was i was living away from my parents for the first time in my life um i i you know like looking for a home finding one i found this sweet little studio apartment in reclamation at the time very close to leelavati hospital doing it up on my own um you know figuring out how to pay my taxes how to you know i'd obviously started driving by then i'd got a car so kind of navigating myself through the city of course at that time there was no such thing as google maps yeah. so really like you know following directions and learning and ah oh my god i'll never forget that time going for shoot in the morning coming back in the evening washing clothes cooking food uh cleaning the house before <laughs> I, you know that 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 domesticity that simplicity that grounding and just the sense of empowerment to have your own space you didn't mention about not being able to find good south indian food in uh, mumbai but i know that in hyderabad there is i discovered matunga and madras diaries yeah. and kape madras and all of that but in the beginning uh, we would like order from shiv sagar or go to shiv sagar uh, uh, sorry shiv sagar i don't mean any disrespect <laughs> 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 sambar it's sweet this is not how sambar is supposed to taste <laughs> yeah i have in fact had uh, dosa from govind ki bandi and ram ki bandi in hyderabad which is extremely popular right have you had it over there yes, yes. and are you forget that the mirchi bhajjis that you get you know those big hari mirchis with yeah oh my god so delicious <laughs> 
we we clearly know dear how much you love food let's talk about travel as well do you enjoy travel as much absolutely so kamya what's interesting is that i traveled overseas for the first time in my life after i won the miss india my entire childhood i would fantasize about travel and seeing places and obviously i got a sense of places through the books that i read yeah. and shows that i watched and the films that i was watching and um so when i finally got my passport and i was i started to travel and travel was such an integral part of my work i was over the moon i was like this is the best job in the whole world <laughs> all these films took me to like from south africa to new zealand wow it was like i was like wow <laughs> <laughs> best job in the whole world i get <laughs> So and I get to travel, so, and you get paid to travel too. And I get paid to travel too. So, which has been your most favorite place that you've been to till date? It's hard to pick because there are this planet is truly wondrous. There is so much in our country that is so magical. Ah, uh, so I've actually been like kind of knocking off states and <laughs> and especially our wildlife sanctuaries. So I've done about eleven. There are many, many more to go. I love, I love wildlife. I love nature. I absolutely like. I grew up in an environment where my first pet, like, was a wild, uh, like a wild python, uh, that came in a little tic tac box that our carpenter brought home, and then we kind of used to me and my father would go and look for like little. uh insects and mice to feed it and then of course it grew about this big and my mother was like this is very dangerous we have to you know release it into the wild so my father and i went into these rocks into banjara hills and let it free but grew up with absolutely no fear of animals or you know insects bugs uh, lizards even like I remember there was this one time my mother and I were swinging in the garden, and these two cobras were like passing by, and all my mother said was "be still." And so there was no; she never projected. My parents never projected fear for uh, any of these uh, creatures, so I never felt it. I worked with this wonderful organization a few years ago called the Snow Leopard Trust. I went to Kyrgyzstan uh, with them. to appeal to uh, the nations 12 snow leopard nations that have snow leopard habitat and snow leopards in their nations so snow leopard trust won two years in a year, year in a row when i was a snow leopard and then i just kind of keep going back and doing stuff with them because snow leopards are like the thermometer for climate change you know um they are the most majestic beautiful shy cats and um they live obviously in high altitudes in snow capped mountains and because of rising temperatures and glacial glacial melts their habitats are diminishing and like disappearing and they are threatened species so when we talk about the snow leopard and saving the snow leopard we are actually just saying that you and i we're all connected to the snow leopard and it's not about fighting for just this beautiful cat survival but all of us because uh the source of our water comes from these habitats let's play a quick fun game before we wrap it's called 5 second fire you got to answer it as quickly as possible okay so are you ready I'm horrible at these, but go ahead. <laughs> Now my questions are fairly simple, so don't worry about it. Okay, let's start. Rate an order of priority: beaches, mountains, or jungles? Jungle, mountain, beach. Okay. Rate an order of preference again: Indian cuisine, Chinese, or Japanese? Indian, Japanese, Chinese. Ah, okay. <laughs> Three things you say when you're shocked. What? Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, three things you always have by your bedside. A water, uh my charger and mobile phone. Don't we all? Oh. 
any indian forest that you particularly like please okay all right if you were stranded on an island which three things you will want with yourself water and food um a book okay <laughs> and mobile a mobile phone with network <laughs> <laughs> and then you will need a charger also for your mobile phone so no and <laughs> then i have to call for help right i'd like to have a mobile phone that work your favorite film till date avatar would be hard to be your favorite co star madhavan because he was my first co actor okay thank you so much dia wonderful talking to you I had a great time chatting with you you shall meet in person once all this is over i hope so too and um, thank you for having me such a pleasure thank you bye bye mm-hmm.